a very very warm good morning or good evening ladies and gentlemen as per the time refers to my name is Annie Miraj Ketwai and you're watching Vertex the solution of every need how is everyone and how is everyone doing I was in a training session and I thought of recording a video for everyone out there and to um, communicate what was coming in my mind to all of you um, it is very important you know to understand um, what I am going to share right now um, it's more on to a behavioral training or a corporate psychology kind of a topic which I'm going to talk to you for people who are watching me for the very first time let me uh, introduce myself to you all again um, I am an educationalist and um, I'm also a corporate trainer to know more about me you are more than welcome over my website the details about my website is available in the description box below of this video uh, you're also uh, more than welcome if you have any kind of doubts you want to share your feedback or you know you have any um, a problem in a uh, in a particular topic that you would like to study so you can share that as well my email address and my contact details to enroll for any particular classes is available also in the description box below you can also follow me at facebook and you can visit my facebook page uh, you can refer to my further links of the youtube uh, videos and presentations and demos what i do the style of my training and teaching and you'll understand a lot about that as well so moving back uh, for this quick video that i would like to record um and share uh, what i wanted to say so i want to talk about today personality i want to talk about positive and negative personality so first of all we need to really understand to become a good professional to enhance our skills you know communication skills to enhance our knowledge about a particular topic or to learn a particular subject or to a, or a particular topic or specializes in a particular field ladies and gentlemen and my dear children it's very important first of all to work on your personality so uh, let me uh, be very very straightforward here with you personality has no relevance with the physical appearance of an individual you are tall you are short you are you're petite you are large or big you know you are fair or dark skinned you know you are old or you are young you are slim or you are not slim you know it, it has no relevance with your physical appearance personality is an overall um, implementation of your behavior it is no relevance with your educational qualification it is no relevance with your family background okay personality is something which makes you different and approachable than the other people at times we have these capacities in us inborn but at times we need to groom ourselves so i i'm going to talk to you here on a very deeper point I hope I hope I choose the right words today to really brush up that instinct inside of you that were that was that is or that could be damaged or bruised or you know it could be an underlying issue that many of my viewers students or followers may or are or is facing so what is that I'm going to talk about? We talk about soft skills training, to be very blunt. We talk about, you know, this kind of clothing suits in this kind of an interview or this kind of uh, format should be followed for this particular scenario. But before doing all of it, it is all exterior. You're understanding what I'm trying to say. So whatever soft skills training, the way you should behave, you know, the, your etiquette, etiquette training, your makeup style in an interview for women, your dressing sense, it is all exterior. This is all exterior. 
you know this is artificial this is all artificial you don't you need to believe on to but what you need to work on what i do in my trainings is to focus in the interior of the personality not just the exterior aspect of it so how we can work in on ourselves in the on an interior aspect what is that interior aspect see uh there are some some people i give a minute example to you here there are some people who been never been into any kind of such trainings who never been to very fine uh, colleges or educational institutions they're very they're from very simple and humble backgrounds they're from very humble educational backgrounds educational institutions but why they are different and why suddenly they grasp the attention of everyone because of something they do uh, their behavior or action or because of something uh, they um, you know showcase exteriorly or there is something in them interiorly so what i am talking about is the emotional aspect of an individual i am talking about on the emotional balance mental balance mental health and building up the confidence from inside so confidence my dear viewers my dear followers is not something that you just can read you know you have read or some trainer any trainer in the world can never build your confidence if you don't feel it from your inside you know so you can do this on your own by start practicing it and what you need to practice here you need to switch the way you think the way your thought process is you need to switch that you have to start seeing yourself in a different mirror you know the number one thing people groups organization competition anywhere or everywhere you will find there are a lot of different types of personalities so there are negative people also and there are positive people also the the irony is that positive people are less in ratio and negatives are more so that is how the stress level is increasing in the society right people are approaching you know therapist psychologist and psychiatrists and going for counseling sessions more not because they have some sort of abnormality but because they have increased amount of stress in them so this stress is not something which is you, which you are carrying by birth this stress is not something which is inbuilt this stress is uh, has been given to you from the outer outer side from the outer world so you need to understand this how to deal with it you have the prodigy you have those skills to cut that pressure to cut that stress you know out from your personality and develop yourself no matter from where do you belong to no matter what type of skin color you have no matter you are uh, you know uh, belonging from a very uh, um you know um uh, lavish family or you are belonging from a hum- humble family you are belong you have a simple lifestyle or you have a lavish lifestyle so this is very important to understand it's a very minute thing it's just a simple thought that is in your mind if you are able to control that thought that comes in your mind that is a negative thought sometimes what happens uh we are surrounded by people and it's not necessary that they are always good for you you know they are always positive for you so when you are good when you are positive when when you are energetic when you are enthusiastic and so many other things it happens that you attract negativities around you 
So here, when you're attracting the negativities around you, number one thing that you need to do is to analyze that negativity. You should need, you need to analyze from where that negativity in your life is coming from. Is there, is, a, is there a person who is constantly trying to put some words in your mind and con making them concrete as a thought in your mind, which is developing some sort of a complex in you? Is it, it is a bully. So it is important, ladies and gentlemen, to understand that negativity from where it is coming from. So you need to focus on the bully. The bully is, he will indirectly pulls you down. He is jealous of your success, of your family, of your qualification, maybe your fun-loving nature, maybe your easygoing nature. God knows, no? So you need not to... Uh, you know, get deviated from what you are doing. If you are a positive individual, remain like that. Okay? So, it is important to understand that where that negativity is coming from. If that negativity is, just listen. If it is coming from, from a close friend, a family member, from your spouse, from your husband, from your wife, from your children, from your boss, from your colleague, from your superiors, anyone, you need to take a stand for yourself. When you're taking a stand for yourself, you value, you are building your self-esteem, you're building your self-respect, okay? And when you have a strong self-esteem, you are building your confidence level. So when you are building up your confidence level, my dear viewers, you are able to take better decisions in life. You are able to recognize the failures and the success. You are able to recognize what is going to work for you, what is right and healthy for you and what is not healthy for you. So you need to analyze the people. And you need to understand what is done to you to damage your persona, your personality as a whole and push it back. You have to push it back, but in a very polite and intelligent way. So personality, this is, I am, this is a different uh, video I have never recorded. And this is a very different topic I'm discussing here with you, which uh, is focused on the interior aspect of your personality rather than the exterior. We talk about lot of exterior, uh, uh, you know, outer appearance. We talk about a lot of exterior things regarding personality development. But this is something different uh, it is obviously building your personality. It is obviously building your confidence level. Once your confidence is built, there are people, you know, they keep on telling you for something or for something that you really wish to do, but they keep on demoralizing you directly or indirectly. You need to analyze that bully. That is a bully. These kind of... A mindsets are bully for you. You need to analyze them. You know, if uh, they they uh, the when the bully comes to you, I'll tell you what a bully is because I'm talking about personality development and building your interior personality, emotional personality, your emotional well-being. So I'm elaborating it a little more that what a bully is. So what a bully do? A bully can be anyone. It could be a colleague in your workplace. It could be your boss, you know. It could be your neighbor. It could be anyone, anyone, you know. You don't know people um, and their mental health and their mental status. So it's very important to protect your boundaries and um, create those boundaries where you can, uh, uh, you know, um, be safe from such negative 
uh, thought or negative vibration. So what you need to do and how you can analyze that bully. The bully is a very good observer. The bully doesn't come like this to you. The bully stays away from you and that bully tries to ob try to uh, observe every little thing about you and that is because you are human we all are human we make mistakes we are filled up with errors and we learn from our mistakes and improve ourselves but what the bully do he observes you from far and he manipulates the weaknesses that you have and this is how he is able to overcome your mind or she may overcome your mind. And when they are able to control the thought that you have, so you have given the control of your mind, of your body, of your soul, of your thinking process to someone else. Right? So that bully is able to manipulate you. Manipulate, manipulate you. That is a simple example of narcissism. Why do they do this? I mean, you always ask, but why someone has to do this to me? Because they have their own complexes. They have their own inferiority complexes. They are insecure from inside about them. So when they try to pull other person or other people down, they feel good from inside. This is a psychological disorder and this is very common. This is very, very common. That is why it's not treatable, you know. So it happens that you may get victimized by some people or such people, you know. So that is very bad and, you know, that is very bad for your self-esteem, for your own self-respect for your confidence so these are the measures that you can take you need to be firm about it sometimes you know it can be any sort of a bully it can be any sort of a bully you know it could be religious bully it could be you know educational bully it could be workplace bully any sort of a bully so you need to stay firm you know you need to be headstrong, so headstrong that people cannot get into your mind. And this is the simple process by which you can maintain your emotional balance, emotional IQ, emotional quotient as well. Sorry about that. And um, you can uh, keep uh, your mental health in check also. So thank you so much for watching uh, me and listening to me. If you liked what I shared in this video, it is a different video, which is based on the mental health and psychology of, uh, of an individual and building a personality from the inside. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stopping by and giving me your time. Have a great day.